Here are some notes on cerebral temperature and hypothermic bypass. Hypothermic cardiopulmonary bypass is the deliberate cooling of the body for cerebral protection and improved neurologic outcomes. You want to decrease the cerebral metabolic rate. For each degree below 37, the cerebral metabolic rate decreases by 6 to 7 percent, and this protects the blood-brain barrier from disruption. Now, upon rewarming, you increase your cerebral metabolic rate and perfusion, and you need close monitoring of the cerebral temperature. There are a number of ways to get cerebral temperature. You can do a bladder temperature via a Foley, which underestimates the cerebral temperature by two to four degrees. Nasopharyngeal temperature is also close to the aortic cannula and it's well perfused during bypass, but it still underestimates by 0.5 to two degrees. The oxygenator arterial outlet temperature is the temperature of the arterial blood leaving the bypass circuit and entering the body via a aortic cannula. This is often a surrogate for cerebral temperature and it's pretty good. The gold standard is very invasive, but it's the jugular bulb venous temperature because most of the jugular blood flow comes from the cerebral circulation.